Good morning, thanks for joining us this Tuesday the 22nd of February. I'm Paulina Peters, a market analyst with Bell Direct. The Aussie share market started the new trading week in the green, closing 0.16% higher yesterday. As news came in mid-session that the US and Russian president have agreed to meet, which eased some fears of an imminent invasion of Ukraine. Sectors-wise, the utility sector led the way, lifting over 3%. Most of the other sectors also rose except for the tech sector, healthcare sector and consumer discretionary sector. On the ASX 200 leaderboard, A2 Milk jumped 11% after releasing its half year results. While a disappointing decline was posted, some upbeat commentary from its management seems to have offset the profit miss. And AGL Energy lifted 11% after announcing its board had rejected a takeover offer from Atlassian billionaire Mike Cannon Brooks and Canada's Brookfield Asset Management, stating that the unsolicited bid of $7.50 a share undervalued the company. Meanwhile, tech stocks like Zip, Z1P, Block, SQ2 and Tyro Payments, TYR, were amongst the worst performers. Tyro Payments fell a massive 26% after the company's half-year profit tumbled 430% to a loss of $18.1 million. And some of the most traded stocks by Bell Direct clients yesterday included AVZ Minerals, Lake Resources, AGL Energy, as well as Fortescue Metals, FMG. Across the sea, the German DAX dropped 3%, the CAC fell 2%, and the FTSE lost 0.4% while Wall Street was closed on Monday for the President's Day holiday. In terms of what to watch today, as European stocks plunged and markets continued to be shaken by the tensions in Ukraine, the futures are suggesting the Aussie share market will open about 1% lower this morning. Looking at commodities firstly, the oil price lifted more than 1%, currently up around US $93 a barrel, with the Russian-Ukraine tensions continuing to support oil prices. The gold price is also benefiting up 0.35%. While the seaborne iron ore price was down 1.9% to US $141 a tonne. Reporting season wise, there are several companies reporting today. We'll hear from mining company Alumina ALU, Costa Group Holdings, Cochlear COH, lottery company Jumbo Interactive, as well as Coles COL. Bell Potter expect Coles to deliver NPAT of $538.4 million, while Consensus is expecting $506 million. Lastly, there are a few companies going ex-dividend today. They include Amcor, AMC, IPH Limited, IPH, Tabcorp and West Farmers, WES. Now let's end with some trading ideas for your consideration. City have maintained its buy rating on Z Zip Z1P with a price target of $3.65. After the buy now pay later provider gave an interim update on its half year 2022 results yesterday morning, Zip reported its cash earnings before tax, depreciation and amortization is expected to be a loss of $108.1 million. This was materially lower than Citi's expectation of a $38 million loss. So keep watch of Zip as the company is set to release its results in full this Thursday. Finally, Trading Central has a bearish signal on Super Retail Group, SUL, indicating that the stock price may fall from the close of $11.63 to the range of $10.60 to $11 in the next 17 days according to standard principles of technical analysis. And that's all we have time for for today. I'm Paulina Peters with Bell Direct. Have a great day and happy trading.